Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to a new episode of When You're Delusional, You're Gonna Be on TikTok. I do hope you're gonna enjoy the video, so let's just get into it. This is preferred over this. This looks painful. This is not realistic. Who even has this? Oh, I don't know, maybe this guy right here. But my question is, why did you measure it against your head? You know you're not supposed to swallow all that, right? You only take what you can and leave the rest out. There's just some stupid music playing on the background, so I'm just gonna do the talking and the reading. Some guy commented this. Dude, stop posting about it. We know you hurt. She went ahead, found him on Facebook, and she messaged his wife. Is this your husband? He keeps sending me rude comments on my social media. Can you please tell him to stop bullying women he doesn't know? And you are the proud example of the weakest generation that ever walked this earth. If that for you is bullying cupcake, I'm surprised you ever leave the house. You went through all this trouble trying to find him for the comments that he left and you message his wife she's married to the guy and it's not gonna have the effect that you wanted now you have two people laughing at you so congratulations are in order i guess i went on a date and my date it's left me in the middle of the date yeah. it has different moods too i like the yellow one taking pictures for quite a long time hoping that you at least be somewhat normal but that's what i get for going on a blind date the only way this date would be better is if I was blind. Then I wouldn't have to see everyone staring. Like, don't you care? Where's your self-awareness? They're staring right now. Can we fight more minutes? Nah, nah, I'm good. Good luck. Wait, what, wait why are you leaving? He's leaving because you brought a ring light. He's leaving because you are more interested in the pictures that you can take while you were on a first date. He's leaving because you cared more on what you can post on your social media than paying attention to your date. I'm the type of man who would pay for the first date, but in this case, I would be walking out and leave you with a bill. The only reason you went on that date was for you to get some content so you can post it. You don't need to go on a date to do that. Go by yourself or take your friends with you. I don't know if that was an expensive place or not, but he obviously left because you are using him for his money. Shout out to him, he did exactly what he was supposed to do. But in return, this guy didn't. Who even acts like that in a restaurant? I don't care if you call yourself an influencer or whatever. You do not act like that on a date. Even slapping his hand because he reached for the food. If whatever you did up to that point didn't convince him to leave, that right there should have. Okay, y'all. Just a reminder, obesity bias is real. Skinny privilege is also real. And before you come at me and you're like, girl, it's not real. It's your energy. It's your confidence. You just have more confidence now. And now. Immediately now. I lost 85 pounds this past year, and let me tell you, one thing that is so apparent is how much this world hates fat people and how much it adores skinny people. And once again, if you've never lived in a bigger body, please don't comment. And yet I will, just because I want to. And just because you went for hate. They hate this, but they adore that. It doesn't work like that. Just because I don't want something. Just because I don't like something. Just because I don't accept a certain thing. It doesn't lead straight to hate. Just because I don't want to live the way you live. It doesn't mean anything other than that. I don't want to live your life. I want to live my own. Observe, but don't absorb. Love, but don't depend. Feel, but don't dwell. Want, but don't need. Connected and detached, baby. F around, but pull out. Swallow, don't spit. Wait, there's no butt in between. Ah, whatever. 80% of guys right now are not comfortable in approaching at all. Just because, you know, of social media showing the nightmares that happen mm -hmm. with like a lot of gym, you know, videos yeah. and things like that, that guys are getting labeled as creeps. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, that's the last thing any guy wants to ever be labeled as. Do you know what I mean? Oh, hundred percent. Like it's there's so many. I think there's so many mixed messages now too. Like back in the day, like you know, if a guy was interested in someone, needed some advice, who would he go to? An older brother, someone who knew him, knew his environment, like had an interest in in helping him. Like you know, no financial gain or anything. You go on mm -hmm. TikTok, there's someone who's you know got money to make off of you know you being upset so that you keep watching their content or mm -hmm. um, you know that you buy their coaching 
stuff and whatnot. Um, or it's like you go and you see someone's story about how a guy was creepy and then, but also like women want a man to chase because high value stuff. And it's, it's, there's so many mixed messages right now. Mm -hmm. Um, and it sucks because it's like a guy I think will choose not being a creep over, you know, potentially being the guy who chased because no one wants to be labeled a creep. And that right there is one of the reasons why more and more men choose to stay away. But I want to focus more on what she said about people making money on TikTok, pretty much preying on others. And unfortunately, it works for so many. So let's take a look at this doctor of psychology. Women who don't find what they need become what they need. What does that even mean? They become the air they breathe, the food they eat, the money they need to make? Ah, whatever, I'm not a doctor of psychology like she calls herself. Before we look more into this, let's listen to one more. If you want to start over in life, the first thing you need to change is your belief about what you actually deserve. How come a doctor of psychology will try to convince you that you deserve stuff? Is it because she's selling dreams and she needs your money? I helped one thousands of women to recalibrate their magic. $29 to rewrite your invisible programming. Can I rewrite it for free though? Women don't heal through endurance. Women heal through flowing their emotions. Women don't change through logic. Women change when they get a vision. And the vision is you deserve stuff. In the year of 2022, Dr. Amanda's message resonated with over 25 million people across the world that's from her website you said it yourself you helped a thousand women how do you get the 25 million from is it one of those trust me bro moments anyway i've made this long enough but just one more thing before i shut up as dr amanda entered midlife she experienced firsthand the harsh reality of ageism come on now what exactly is ageism no one knows for sure i'm only guessing it's when people don't like the fact that they're getting older and they're trying to blame other people for the fact that they're getting older because these days even getting older it's something that will hurt your feelings what i'm trying to say is stop giving people your hard-earned money she is a doctor she is a doctor in psychology she knows how to play you she knows how to play with your mind she knows how to play with your emotions that's why she's on tiktok but anyway like i've said it before i made this long enough this is gonna be it for today as always i do hope you enjoyed the video thank you all for watching stay safe and i will see you in the next one